good morning you guys today is tuesday and the reason why i didn't start this vlog yesterday is because yesterday was canadian thanksgiving i know american and canadian thanksgiving is on different dates so yesterday was our canadian thanksgiving and i didn't do anything yesterday i spent the day chilling i baked some pumpkin pies for my family's dinner went to my parents house for thanksgiving dinner and it was so good my mom made like gluten-free stuffing and everything was dairy-free and gluten-free so it was like amazing i could eat everything because i'm still doing the no dairy no gluten gluten diet and it was just so good and so since i went to bed a little bit later last night i decided that this morning i wasn't gonna you know get up early and work out i'm just gonna kind of take a chill morning and sleep in so i get my full eight hours and just kind of like ease into the week this way i just like love this time of year i love thanksgiving it's just so warm and festive not like actually like warm outside but since it's like cozy and gloomy outside it gives like a warm feeling when you're like inside cozied up and having like thanksgiving dinner with family i don't know it's just so wholesome and nice and even just like driving outside is just like so beautiful with all the trees that are turning orange this time of year is just so pretty and i'm obsessed but yeah so i did a bit of computer work this morning so i was on my laptop just doing some work i think a really important thing to do especially when the weather is gloomy is to set the vibe for your day in the morning i understand like a lot of people have to get up really early for work and it's sometimes like hard to do that but even if you wake up like 10 minutes early to do something that makes you feel really happy in the morning i feel like it's worth it because setting your day up for success is so important and doing that doesn't mean it has to be anything really that extravagant but even just taking 10 minutes to do something in the morning that makes you happy is just so important and will set the tone for your day so since i got the opportunity today i like made sure to light some candles had a warm coffee and it was just so night today we actually have a rental inspection so our management company for our unit is coming and they're gonna do a quote-unquote like inspection probably just to make sure that our unit is being like like we're not destroying it you know what i mean so they're gonna come between one and two it's currently 12 50 so i'm just kind of getting ready for the day now i have to go to costco today because we just need like our costco restock i'm gonna get joel to come with me because i hate going to costco alone and so yeah i just gotta do some grocery shopping today i'm gonna use this summer fridays blush today it's in the shade heat wave and such a fall color my cousins are coming this week weekend so they're coming on friday they're from the state like a few hours across the border we haven't seen them in like four years even longer than that i haven't seen the whole family in like six years or something crazy like that so i'm looking forward to that and this week we're also planning on going to the pumpkin patch with my sister madison her boyfriend connor it's already like mid-october which is crazy we're almost mid-october and i know if we don't plan a date to go to the pumpkin patch now then we're just like never going to end up going and it's just going to get swept under the rug also i realized that this is like the first year that i'm gonna even get like trick-or-treaters so i need to buy candy for the kids i've never like gotten to hand out candy at halloween before because at my family's house we live really in like a remote location nobody comes trick-or-treating there so i've never gone to hand out candy and then last year in our apartment nobody goes trick-or-treating in apartments so this is like the first year that we're actually gonna get to hand out candy which is really cute oh i'm excited for that so on days where i don't feel like wearing mascara all i do curl my eyelashes and then put on aquaphor on my eyelashes to kind of keep the curl and my lashes usually never keep a curl but if you put aquaphor on it actually helps them keep the curl i don't know i just like don't like putting on mascara all the time i just sometimes i feel icky with it on i don't know if it's just me but i'm just gonna apply some aquaphor on my finger and then just run it through like the tips of your eyelashes don't put it on the root just like at the very tips you can also do this with vaseline i don't know if you guys can tell the difference but there's a big difference it's just such a good hack if you don't want to wear mascara i used to try clear mascara but that stuff never worked now i'm just going to apply my summer fridays lip balm i love this stuff so much in the vanilla it's just so smooth and creamy and hydrating and it's perfect to pair it with like lip liner it's just like a perfect everyday balm slot it's like a lip balm and a lip gloss kind of combined in my opinion it's worth the hype i have been using the essence soft and precise lip pencil in the shade 101 it's so good i have like 10 of these just like laying around my house everywhere 
but yeah that is my little makeup look for today i my hair is so greasy because i'm waiting to wash it maybe a hat on or just like do a sleek back bun or something today yeah also you guys my hair is just like ugh, i want to do something like i want to change and i don't know what to do with my hair i don't want to like really cut the length because i'm kind of like growing it out and i did recently get a trim but i don't know if i should get like face framing layers or what my hair is basically like pretty much all one length right now let me know what i should do with my hair down below because i'm just kind of getting bored of it i don't want to dye it though so what kind of haircut should i get should i get like layers face framing layers curtain bangs i don't know what to do but i definitely want like a change because my hair has just been like one length for so long and it's kind of boring and it's kind of hard to style because it's just so eh, you know but anyways i'm gonna get dressed and just like get ready for the rest of the day also i just wanted to mention my little bra sports top is from public myth and i'll have a link down below it's made from like bamboo and it's sustainable and everything and i just love it it's so cozy to sleep in to work out in it's so soft and comfortable and i feel like it's like that one piece where i will get like a million uses out of it Hey guys, so I'm currently driving to Costco with Joel because Costco was like a damn zoo. I like going every like month, maybe even every two months. I don't even know how often we go, but whenever we go, we get like the same specific things that we specifically go to Costco for. So when we're done shopping, I will show you guys like a Costco haul and what I like to get specifically from Costco. And a lot of things we get there is like in bulk. So it lasts us a long time. It's just like a way better price than buying it at the normal grocery store. Yeah, we're about to go into Costco and then I think we have dinner for tonight But I don't know I might need to do another grocery shop either today or tomorrow like a normal one But yeah, it would honestly surprise you on how much organic stuff Costco has and like health food brands And they just sell it in bulk and like bigger containers So that's what you, that's the kind of things that you need to take advantage of at Costco and everything is jumbo there So as long as you have like the pantry space for it, it's honestly great But I just hate going there alone because it's a literal zoo it's never not busy so anyways just finished up at Costco that was a really successful Costco run and we got basically everything we needed I just couldn't find coconut sugar so I usually get my coconut sugar from them but sometimes Costco they have stuff and then all of a sudden it's gone for a while and then things come back it's kind of weird like that but that's the only thing that we didn't get but we got so much we spent $300 um, whenever we go to Costco it's a big bill but it's in bulk so it lasts us for a long time one of the best feelings is just having a stocked cabinet with things that last a long time if that makes sense also i usually get smart sweets from costco too because they have like a big box for like only ten dollars but they haven't had smart sweets for a while now and it's kind of sad but i hope they come back Okay, so here is my Costco haul. I'm gonna tell you guys everything that I got. I got this organic coffee. We usually get a different roast, but we decided to try their like limited edition. Um, hold on, this is in front. Their limited edition mountain retreat dark roast, and it's organic and fair trade. And then we got two things of maple syrup just because Costco has such good organic maple syrup. Definitely have to stock up on that because I use this for baking and my coffees and just really for everything. Then we just got some parchment paper. Then we get these avocado oil sprays for cooking usually if you were to buy like a cooking spray it'd probably be like canola oil but if you guys didn't know canola oil is so bad for you these chosen foods avocado oil sprays are so good and for the two of them i'm pretty sure it's only like 15 dollars. i think it was even on sale but at the normal grocery store if you were to buy like just one small little tin of this or bottle of this it like 15 dollars or more just for a little one but costco has two of them for 15 and they're bigger so definitely get your money's worth there then i just get this unblanched almond flour from costco the only ingredient is almonds i get a huge bag of cashews and almonds to make my homemade nut milk and this is actually a new find i just wanted to try 
this brand of bone broth for a change. We'll see how I like it. I'll let you guys know if it's good. I got these Mary's crackers. The ingredients are so good. There's no gluten, no dairy. It's basically just organic seeds together and <laughs> makes a cracker. So I'm thinking of maybe making like homemade hummus or something and having these crackers with it. Then I just got some organic raspberries just for some fruit. And then we get these RX bars. These are so good. The ingredients are really clean. They're just a good like protein bar. Then we get these Greenfield no antibiotic sausages, really good ingredients and clean meat. And then I always get my organic dates from Costco because there's just like the best deal on them and it's a big package i picked up this six pack of coconut milk just because i feel like i always randomly just need some coconut milk for a recipe or something and it'll, it's nice to have like some on hand and then we just got these two cartons of their organic eggs but yeah that is a little costco overview haul of what we usually get when we go this supply usually lasts us a while so it is currently three o'clock and now i'm just gonna put these groceries away these are mostly just like pantry groceries so i'm just gonna like organize them in my pantry um i think tomorrow i'm gonna go out grocery shopping again just to get like the normal quote unquote normal groceries for the week i'm probably gonna make like a cozy soup or something tomorrow but i need to get like groceries and stuff so we'll do that tomorrow but yeah i'm just gonna organize things and i'm not gonna clean out my fridge today i'll do that tomorrow so and then i think i'm just gonna get to cooking dinner right away because joel's hungry and i know it's only three but i think i'm just gonna cook up like some potato fries homemade cut up potato fries and put them in the air fryer and then I think we're gonna have salmon with salad. So that's a cute little easy dinner, but I'll show you guys how I make the potato fries when I'm done. Here's our dinner for today. I made salmon with homemade fries. All I did was cut them up in like fry shape and then I seasoned them with olive oil, paprika, garlic powder, and salt. And then I popped them in the oven on the air fry setting on 425 for 30 minutes. And they turned out so perfect. And then I have salmon and salad with some carrot in it. And then I also made this little dip for the fries. It's just mayo and um, hot sauce. And then I have some Zevia in a wine glass. And so excited to eat this. Looks so Nope. morning you guys i just got to oxygen yoga and fitness about to do my heated infrared workout today it's power core so i'm really excited but gonna be going in soon and i got the worst sleep last night like it was actually so bad and i don't know if it's just like the energies lately or what it is but joel said that he got a bad sleep yesterday and today too and usually my sleeps are so good like i don't even wake up once at night and i always am blessed with like really really good sleeps so it's really rare for me not to have a good sleep i was just like tossing turning it took me like half an hour to just fall asleep and usually i'm like once my head hits the pillow i'm out and i woke up so many times in the middle of the night my eczema was like really itching me too so that could have been a factor and i haven't had an eczema flare-up in like I would want to say like a month now which is amazing for me because my diet has been working but I was itching and I was just like I couldn't sleep I don't know what it was but Joel was in the same boat so I don't know just some weird energy I guess maybe there's something in the air I don't know but it's kind of funny because whenever I get like the shittiest sleeps that is when I wake up and I feel the best when I get a really good sleep and my alarm rings I'm like you're kidding me right like I could go back to bed but this morning I got such a shitty sleep or last night I got such a shitty sleep and I, this morning when my alarm rang it was so easy for me to wake up like i wasn't even tired which is so weird i feel like that just plays into like me never getting a really real full deep sleep maybe so my body was never like super tired i don't know but anyways okay let's go work out by the way my kilometers is at 222 and 111 like you're done
That is some sort of sign that something's weird. Something's weird in the air. <laughs> I just finished making my homemade milk if you guys want the recipe to this I will have the video that I showed it in down below um, this one is my homemade creamer that I just made so I use this in my coffees and then this is just straight up milk and I did half cashew half almond milk so it's just like a nut milk mix and it's so good I just needed to kind of like restock it for the week these only last about a week though because they're so fresh and they don't have any like preservatives because they're homemade which kind of sucks but I I drink it anyways within the week, so it's okay, but it's so good. Hey guys, so I just went on a nice long walk with Lexi and we went to like a nature walk, a forest, and it was so beautiful and today's just like such a crisp fall beautiful day, but we're currently at the grocery store. We're going to do some grocery shopping together. Lexi's here with me. She had to come to this grocery store to do something for her work because she does like marketing and stuff and I was like oh my god no way I literally shop at this grocery store so it ended up being perfect so we just came from our walk here and I don't know what I'm gonna make for dinner yet so I have to think of that I'm thinking like some sort of soup but I don't know which soup yet I kind of have to think about it and then I just need like everyday groceries so yeah let's go do some grocery shopping <laughs> Here's a mini grocery haul. Um, I just had to pick up a couple things for dinner and a couple things that we needed. So I got this garlic tzatziki creamy cashew dip and this is so good with like the Mary's crackers. 10 out of 10 would recommend and the ingredients are really clean. Then I just got some rosemary because I want to make this for my hair. And then I got some salad, some mushrooms, chicken broth for the soup, um, some wild rice, avocados, onions, yams. And then I just got some bananas to freeze. And then I just got some potatoes. Yeah, that's just the mini little grocery haul for tonight and just random things that I needed. Hey guys, so Lexi just left. I was hanging out with her since like 2 o'clock, I want to say. We went on a nice walk and I made some nice soup for us for dinner. And then we were just kind of chilling, talking. Yeah, this morning I was just doing some boring computer work. It was so nice to spend the day like on a walk outside. The day today went by so fast. Even though I woke up early today, it still went by so fast. It feels like I did nothing today. But then now when I look back at my day and what I did... Like I went to a workout, I went on like a, an hour and a half or even longer walk. I went grocery shopping, I made dinner, I did my computer work. Like I did a lot today. The day just feels like it went by like that. Like it's already Thursday tomorrow, which is crazy. But we might go to the pumpkin patch tomorrow, so I'm really excited. 
and yeah sorry today was kind of like a boring day but the soup that i made was a mushroom rice wild rice soup and it was so good i'll have the recipe linked down below made with coconut milk and it was just so good anyways yeah i'm just gonna get ready for bed now it's around eight o'clock and i'm just gonna sit in bed and read because i have been reading verity and it's really good so far so i'm excited to like get really into it yeah i'm just gonna get ready for bed like the best feeling is getting ready for bed all cozied in bed with like pajamas and getting really comfortable and just like sitting in bed with a book and reading so good such a nice feeling especially in the fall anyways so i'm gonna go do that get ready for bed and read a little Hey guys, so I'm just about to leave the house, but I wanted to show you guys my outfit for the pumpkin patch and just for today. So I'm wearing these jeans are from White Box, and then this is the green little cute knitted sweater that I thrifted last week. And then this purse that I thrifted, it's brown. And then I just have on my loafers because for the pumpkin patch, I don't really care about getting these dirty. This outfit would also look super cute with Uggs or something, but this is the vibe today. And... Yeah, I'll see you guys in the car. I just wanted to show you. I'm currently just going grocery shopping because today, like I said, we're going to the pumpkin patch and we're having Madison and Connor over afterwards and we're all going to carve pumpkins together. How cute is that? I just came to the grocery store because I want to get some chips for tonight and i also just need to get like groceries because we're going to make shepherd's pie so i need to get some potatoes and then there's this brand it's called cassava i'm pretty sure and my mom bought these like nacho chips from them they're gluten dairy free and their ingredients are actually really good like they're made with avocado oil and whatever and they're so good so i'm gonna see if this store has them i'm at superstore by the way and superstore has like a good selection of health foods stuff that sometimes like health food stores don't even have which is weird so i came to superstore because that's where my mom got the chips from so i'm really excited to see if they have them because they're just so good and i'll show you guys them if i find them but i'm just here to get some snacks um some food for dinner and then i'm gonna head to the dollar store i need to get like a tablecloth to cover our dining room table for when we carve the pumpkins on so that we don't like ruin our table and also i want to get a pumpkin carving kit or something like that just so it makes the experience that much better so we can have like little tools to carve the pumpkins so i'm gonna stop at the dollar store see what i can find there but anyways okay i'm gonna go in do a cute little grocery shop yeah i really hope i find those chips so we'll see There was conveniently a dollar store nearby, so I stopped up at the dollar store and I got some cute little things. So I'll show you guys a little bit of a haul and I found the chip, so I'm so happy about that. But I'll show you guys a little haul of what I got when I'm home. But now I'm just heading to Meridian Meats to get meat for dinner. There was a cop car that just came blasting through. Knock on wood, I have never been pulled over by a cop before and I hope I never do. But anyways, I was just thinking the other day and I was like, can you believe like, October is already halfway done. Like what even is time? Like what is time? Time is not even real. The month of September, don't even know where that even went. That just flew out the door. And I thought October was gonna go a bit slower, but 
I don't know if time just goes by faster because when you're older or if this is like an energy thing like the world is just speeding up but I don't know like it's so crazy and the thing is is like when I think back to a year ago today it doesn't even feel like that long ago and usually when I think back to like a year ago I always am like oh well that was so long ago but thinking back to a year ago today when I look back at memories and stuff it does not even feel like that long ago thinking back to Christmas 2022 feels like just a couple months ago usually it'll feel like a lot longer so that's why I'm like tripped out let me know if you guys are feeling this way about time too because it's insane like that's why it's so important to just appreciate every single day and be in the present moment because soon enough it's gonna be 2030 you guys so if you're working towards something if you're in school and you just want to be done with it or whatever it is we always have these goals that like we set out to do and we're like oh i can't wait until i accomplish this i can't wait till i finish school i can't wait till i'm done this and whatever but it's like that time will come it'll come faster than you think so just try to be present in every moment because time flies and this era in your life is here for a reason and you're going through it right now just know that before you know it it's going to be over and things are going to be different so yeah anyways just thought i'd rant about that because it's so crazy also i washed my hair yesterday and i don't know why but i hate my hair the first day after washing it it's almost like it's too clean to it's almost i don't know how to describe it but when the first day i wash my hair and i style it or something i'm like it's just too clean like it doesn't look good but then like the day after it's when it's like perfect and then the next day it's perfect and then it starts to get downhill because it gets greasy but i don't know it's just funny because i never like my hair the first day after i style it you just got a little bit of oil set in and then you're like okay that looks better you know what i mean i don't know if that's just a me thing maybe just a girly thing let me know if you can relate to that but i just hate first day hair first day wash hair i love how i'm driving right now and i'm just looking at orange trees i think it's just so beautiful and i'm gonna be sad when november hits and all the trees are bare and naked i'm gonna be a little sad because the orange trees they do bring me a lot of joy and i love it this is what i got shopping <laughs> these are the nacho chips that i was talking about oh the brand is siete what did I say before? I said cassava. Oh my gosh. Okay, never mind. Brand is Siete. I don't know why I thought. Oh, maybe because they're with cassava. Yeah, they're made with cassava blends. So that's why I thought they were cassava, but no. Brand is Siete. These are so good. 10 out of 10 recommends. Ingredients are great. And I got three of them because we already know I'm going to be eating them up. So I had to stock up a little bit. And then I got some coconut sugar because I didn't have this at Costco the other day. And just got some russet potatoes for tonight's dinner. Then I just needed some more kombuchas. I love having these just in the fridge whenever I'm craving one. And this is in Orange Splash. I've never tried this flavor before. So I'm excited. And then I just got these good crisp um, salt and vinegar knockoff or better version of Pringles. I love salt and vinegar chips and I don't know why but sometimes there's just no other chip that I'm craving but salt and vinegar so I just got these to have for a little snacky snack whenever I want. And then I just got some ground beef from Meridian for the shepherd's pie tonight and I also got a little can of corn for the shepherd's pie as well. I never really buy anything canned but I'll make a little exception for the shepherd's pie tonight. And then this is what I got at the dollar store. So I got this pumpkin stencil kit just in case, you know, I want to use it. And then I got this little pumpkin carving kit, pumpkin scooper, and then this tablecloth so that my table doesn't get ruined and just this pumpkin light so we could see our um, pumpkins lit up, which is really cute. But yeah, I'm so excited. It's going to be such a cute fall Halloween night tonight and it's going to be so wholesome. So that is the little haul.
So these are pumpkins that we brought home. So cute. This is Joel's. And this one's mine. I think this one's mine. And then that's Mavs and Connors. Connor and Madison just left, but here are our little pumpkins. So this little kitty is mine, and then this is Madison's. But her plan was to like toothpick the ears like that, but I just don't have any toothpicks, so I gotta get some toothpicks for that, but so cute. And then that one is Connor's, and then that one is Joel's. He thought that we were using a stencil for like a ghost, and he thought that him cutting this out <laughs> not gonna leave a huge hole but like i don't know it's kind of trippy because you just did the stencil but you were supposed to do it like a different way if that makes sense so it just kind of left a big hole but it's still really cute and yeah these are pumpkins i want to put them outside to show a little bit of halloween cute fall spirit but i think that they're so cute and it was such a nice fun night at the pumpkin patch and now everything is just nice and clean i just finished cleaning the kitchen yeah i think they're so cute and it was such a good night morning you guys happy friday i'm so excited for the weekend because my cousins are coming and i'm excited to get this workout done with honestly waking up early and getting stuff accomplished on a friday is just like the best feeling this is your sign to persevere for the rest of the week because it's so easy to get like unmotivated especially towards the end of the week but also you do have that extra motivation because it's like the weekend soon but it's easy to half-ass a friday you know oh i'm gonna do this because it's friday i'm not gonna work out because it's friday it's whatever but no like friday's when you should be working out because you have the weekend to relax hopefully sometimes i'll have a friday where i'm super motivated and then sometimes i'll have a friday where i'm just like i just need the weekend but anyways so yeah i'm at oxygen yoga and fitness like always i'm doing a bar class today yeah i have to finish editing this whole video today because i don't want to leave it for the weekend because i feel my videos like so live that like i it's friday today and this video is going up sunday morning so i kind of only have like two days to edit it i've been editing it throughout the week so it's like fine but i really want to aim to get this video all edited and finished and uploaded by today so that i don't have to do it tomorrow when i'm at my parents house because i'm gonna spend the weekend at my parents house so i just want to make sure that like i get my work done today and stay disciplined on myself do a lot of editing and then i also just want to like clean the house because it's not looking too good i kind of just let my room go and my clothes are everywhere i need to do a load of laundry um i did one last night but i need to do another one and then yeah i just basically have to clean and work today um so that's the vibe but anyways i'm gonna go work out now and i will see you guys later yeah i'm outside in a damn g right outside tt two turn baby girl you know me still with the dolls that i grew beside all the niggas around me, cry to the guy. Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Who am I? 
So I just got back from my workout, but I don't have any spinach at home to make a smoothie. So I'm just gonna have a little glass of coconut water because I usually put this in my smoothies and it's super hydrating. So I'm just gonna pour it in a glass and drink like a cup or whatever. But I honestly really like the taste of it and it's just so good for you and hydrating. Also another tip, if you're like drinking and you don't wanna get, and you wanna rehydrate yourself so you don't get so hungover, coconut water is really good to have um, after drinking because it's so hydrating. If you can already hear it in my voice, I got super sick today and I spent the morning, you guys saw what I did, and then I just edited the rest of this video and I started to get body aches when I went to my parents' house to see my cousins and it was just all downhill from there. So I just wanted to explain why I didn't finish the vlog at all. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next Sunday.